If you haven't watched this before, the show is uh, Wine and Crab. So every week I took a bottle of wine uh, under around ten dollar or under eleven, and we take a sample and I tell you what it tastes like. And then in the meantime, I'm drinking. I'm making some crab. Um, so today we're making a t-shirt. Uh, turn the t-shirt into a bolero jacket. So if you haven't watched this before. And we have a little drinking game. So if you don't have something in your hand or a bottle of wine, go get one for yourself. And every time I mention the word wine or I take a zip, you need to taste one. All right. So basically today is I'm taking a t-shirt and I'm going to turn it into a bolero jacket. So I'm thinking I'm going to do a little knee high here. I'm going to cut in the center. So before I do that, I just need to make a sleeve area and I'm thinking of turning into a kimono style. So before we do anything, and a few seconds pass, it's pretty good for the white. We don't need to wait this half long to have a zip. Hey Po! How's, how's the warm weather? Cheer! Mm, so this is a dry wine and let me taste it again. It doesn't have as much um, flavor but a little bit drier. Somebody said something on Twitter and I'm also doing it live. Um, thank you very much for whoever, uh, everybody turning in. Uh, last week we have over 5,000 people viewing this again. <coughs> and so Facebook stopped counting after 5,000 people. So um, hopefully you can... Um, I also also put up the, uh, the show um, on YouTube um, by uh, Wednesday next week. So you can see the edit version and the before and after. Um, and today I also uh, live feeds on Instagram and on uh, Twist. Uh, so if you have don't know what it is, um, check out my website and then the link it on there. So I'm gonna get, gonna start with the with the the shirt uh, alteration. So we're gonna just need to draw the sleeve area. So I'm doing a. <coughs> Kimono style, so I'm just gonna cut straight down <coughs> here. And I'm thinking I'm gonna do just right underneath the Canada, so it's about here waist. So I'm gonna cut across into a square piece. So to do that, bring it together and ideally. <coughs> You want to do this on a flat surface, but so we don't have a flat surface and we limit on space, I'm just gonna cut straight across on a square. So I don't usually like the dry wine, but I was at the liquor store yesterday and it was recommended to, to, to me by um, the staff and I usually, um, Take my pick from uh, the staff suggestion because they usually know the product. So, if you haven't think, um, want to know all the uh, wine that I've been drinking on the show, so this is their seventh show that I've been doing, and all the wine and the product number and the cost uh, and their tasting note are on my website. There you go. So. We're gonna slit this up and we just have this. And what I'm gonna do is before we do anything else, I'm gonna determine I might have cut a little bit. Uh, I think it should be fine. So I'm gonna cut down right in the center of the Canada, all the way up. Here and so this is a light bolero jacket, and we're gonna take the sleeve 
And before we do that, cheer. So, hi Romy. So if you want to leave some note or make comment, I would able to see what you say. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use the sleeve has a color for both sides. And this should be enough. I'm just gonna cut the sleeve off along the edge. And then cut open the seam. And then we're gonna use it as a color. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna take both seat and then we're just gonna do the same thing. So, <clears throat> the color of the sleeve is gonna be complete <coughs> completely square. So, so we're gonna have the edge here and then just gonna square it right down across all the way down so i'm cutting four layer of sleeve fabric and then from here i'm just gonna make a square cross and then we got a color here and a color here okay so we're gonna go ahead and do this down but before that chair one So we have somebody on. Hi, Rosie. <laughs> so we have somebody wrote, we have Rosie from Instagram to turn in. Now, you can either staple it or I'm just gonna We'll gun it down a little bit, but I'm gonna clue it from the inside, I think. So what we're gonna do is gonna do this color on the edge. Just gonna parallel it from the sh thing. Glue gun it down, light it to the edge. I don't have to glue it all the way for now. Because what I'm doing is we're gonna do a little bit more work on this after. So just as long as we have some idea of how far this go. So this go <coughs> all the way to the back. Right? And I'm gonna have this fold back and I'm gonna leave it open. Like so, and gonna do the same thing for this side. Make sure this glue it down, and line the edge of the fabric to the top, <coughs> and make sure they're the same length at their shoulder seam match with the seam of the sleeve the top part of the sleeve and put it down a little bit more there you go and then i'm just gonna fold this back because i want it an open in the sh uh, on the center So we have a nice a little opening here and glue this. Okay, so you see that? There you go. And cheer. Hi Susan. I haven't seen you for a while. So this one a little bit dry for my taste, but um, I know some people might like it. It's light taste. It's 
you're gonna try a little bit more acidy. Um, <coughs> I don't remember reading the uh, tasting note, but I think it's have pretty <coughs> taste to it. Um, <coughs> I probably would just put this in margarita or something. I wouldn't drink it on its own. So I don't. For me, it's not that great of a wine, but what do I know? All right, <coughs> now. Let's do the front. So we want to do a, a make sure the cup, um, the opening here. <clears throat> so <coughs> I want to have what long this is. So this would cover this entire thing. So it's perfect. And I'm gonna do about two, three inches. Uh, border on the center seam. So you're gonna cut it up. So I'm using um, to cotton fabric here. If you want to use something else, you could, but it's a little bit tricky to do it by standing. So you're gonna fold it up so it have more form to the fabric, and you're gonna cut right down the line. Same here. There you go. So I have a long strip of fabric and I'm gonna cut it into half because we need two pieces, right? And shear. Mm. Sophia, how is your kickboxing career going? <clears throat> Sophia went over to Thailand and studied kickboxing and she was quite good at it. I think she made the national in Thailand. <clears throat> and um, how I know her is I need to train her as her um, yoga instructor. So I'm gonna do the easy style. You're gonna staple this down. So line it up. Staple along the edge. I wouldn't go more <coughs> than about a centimeter in. So there you go. I got the front of the jacket. I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. Line this up. Line edge to edge. So if you're sewing or you're making a pattern, would be the same thing. And I think it's easier to staple from the other side. So, it's been quite an amazing journey so far. I have, I can't believe, so we started with just 200 people watching the first show. And um, I think we, in between seven to 10,000 people uh, watching from all the different channels that I'm broadcasting. Here and um, just want to say thank you very much for all your support. It has only been about uh, this is our seventh show, so it's uh, seven weeks. So every week, I, uh, I do something that's uh, different for everybody else. So, staple this down. So this is what we call the front center seam. If you want to sew it, you can sew it down. And we're just gonna have enough time to do that. So <clears throat> one that I'm going 
just gonna glue it back so they're the seam. So we're gonna glue the inside and then we're gonna flatten it down. So you see, so we're gonna just kind of flatten it down. And then you have a front of the jacket. We're gonna do the same thing for the other side. So we're gonna, so this is what we call top stitching, but we're not stitching anything on the show because, well, the whole idea is you can do this without the sewing. Um, and it's kind of fun and challenging. Because all we're looking for new way to make stuff. Uh, away from the old traditional way of making things. There you go. So now we have the front of the jacket kind of pan it down. Right? Now Let's take care of the back. So I'm just gonna glue the back down. Make sure it's nice and flat. Secure that down. Now we've got the collar done. And a little more whimsical, it opened. And we have the front done. Right, so we're there. And we drink. Cheer. Are you having a glass of wine? Leave a comment, tell me what you're drinking. Hi everyone on Instagram. I'm just gonna turn this on. Sorry. I'll be right back. Now, so we have the front of the jacket done. So we just need to do the sleeve. And I'm thinking of doing the layer on the bottom. So what you're gonna do is, <clears throat> gonna take, I'm missing some fabric. Ah, here you go. So this is the bottom part and we're going to use this <coughs> to make a sleeve. So all we're going to do is we're going to fold it in half, determine the length, and this would be our sleeve. Alright, so we need to cut this into two evenly. And I need a drink. It is very light. Um, yeah, it's not that great. And I guess after six bottles, you have to pick one that's not as good. So I'm not sure I would recommend it. So I'm gonna cut this in half. As you can see, just straight down the line. So we cut in the bottom half. The 
bottom half here into <coughs> two paste, right? Now we're gonna make this into a kimono sleeve. A kimono sleeve is actually to a square. So we're gonna line <coughs> the top part of this along with the center seam and we're just gonna staple it down. Turn around and let's stapling. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna glue it so it's gonna make it a little bit cooler. Um, so how would I do this? So what would I would think in then? My center here, line it along the edge, and I'm just gonna glue the whole thing down. And then we have a we have the the shoulder seam and the sleeve. We're gonna glue it down there. A little bit here, pan it down so you can see the edge. Oop. Jeez, it keeps falling down. Yep. And it's seemingly gonna be a little bit difficult. <coughs> I'm just gonna pin it down a little bit. Uh, I guess it doesn't really need to. You have to do it a little bit slower, I guess. I'm used to work a little bit faster, so. And trace it long. So, all I'm doing it now is basically to glue down the edge of the edge together. So, if you sew this, it's the same thing, so you just sewn on the sleeve. So we're gonna go straight down. Stuck gluing, gluing, glue, 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 and it's just stuck. If not, well, I have a glass of water. Yep, so we got the sleeve. I'm gonna do the same thing for here. So, glue this straight down. So, what I'm doing is on the edge. Edge to edge, and then we run out of glue. So, are you drinking wine? I am. Cheer. So we're gonna continue cluing it down. So I'm just basically cluing it along the, the straight line of the sleeve seam allowance. And there you go, you got a sleeve. I'm gonna do the other side. Make sure you have the center. What's good about working with the jersey fabric is that it, it 
doesn't really fray as much. So scene goes down and straight down to glue it. There you go. That done. Now I'm just gonna do the front size. together and you notice I'm not really fuzzy about the exact of anything because clothing is so it depends how it fall and how you carry your body so you can wear things built like crap and but if you're able to own the outfit it would work for you in your favor and if not then well you look like crap the only thing about the jersey is curve at the edge after you cut them so it make it a little bit more messy to work with the, with the glue I guess Ooh, that hot there you go I do the whole line up and let's do it this way so I see what I'm doing. Scene. And voila, it's done. So we just added a sleeve into the bolero. It's a little bit more messy on this side, but we can just clean it up. All the glue, add a little bit more, glue everything down, and it looks good. There you go. So, we got a Valero jacket. So, we're just gonna finish up the scene here. And we're gonna start stapling them because it doesn't need to be glue. And tier one. Hi, Yoko. Know what else to say about this wine? It's not really my favorite. Um, as I told you, I like the wine a little bit more sweeter, and this is a little bit more dry. <coughs> and but it's very light. Um, it's not really an after taste to the wine. So I'm stable from the inside out. In case you're wondering. Oh, we have some comment on Instagram. All right. So, gonna staple it all down.
So this week I actually broadcast from my desktop. I'm not sure if you like this quality better or from last week uh, I did it from uh, my phone. So tell me which one you like and then I also gonna try to accommodate that. So and to do the side seam together here. Oh, it ran up. together here to the side seam so make sure your staple is working all right and the review narrow top and this is missing some staple on the inside so we can go back and staple more so I'm just doing this quickly so if you want you can either glue gun it or staple it or sew it it's up to you um, do them a little bit closer together so you don't have as much of a hole that I am doing right now and There you go. Ta-da! So, we got a nice little bolero top. We'll take out this glue gun extra. Right? Put the sleeve. And, what I'm thinking is, I'm also gonna add a little bit of so last week we had an old sheet. We make it into a a dress. So I just ripped the sheet up into about an inch square. So what do you think so far? This all come from a t-shirt. Hey Julian. Now, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna apply the same technique we did last week. So I'm gonna just make a little hole. So to punt right in from the center. And then I'm just gonna do about every inch, inch and a half. So I literally just making a hole and make sure you add at the edge. And do the same thing for the other side. And you want to do it on the top as well so because we're going to connect the two pieces together. So the color and the... So you punch the hole in between the bottom hole. That sounds kind of dirty. <laughs> the top hole and the bottom hole. Alright. Side. Keep the 
does some punch, you can just cut it. Alright, now, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to pass through this over top, and then just tie a knot. I'm going to tie on the label. label. So if you just turn in, so this was a t-shirt. We just gonna take it apart and make it into a bolero top. Okay. Now, because a regular bolero would just look kind of boring, so what we do is we just gonna pass this in through the hole, keep it, and then out to the other one. got that right so you pass through one and then you connect them so if you wasn't sure what I was talking about let's try that again so you're gonna pass through the bottom hole go up to the upper hole from the inside and then you take this and pass it through. So we're making a trim around the ne neckline. And don't put it too tight. Yep. So now we have a little detail and it secure the top and the bottom piece together without sewing. This is a lot of work. I'm just I'm gonna have a glass of wine. Are you guys drinking? Mm. Pass it through again. And then. Yes, I can just do this from the inside and then pass it out from the side out. So, there you go. See that? A little bit of detail, yeah? We're gonna do the same thing for the other side. So, we're gonna pass from the bottom to the top. So we have a little loop to pass the ribbon through. Right, we're gonna do that again. So from the bottom, make a hole, go up to the top. So the bottom hole, go to the top hole, and get your dirty mind all together, and then you loop it in. <laughs> <clears throat> We're doing it again on the shoulder blades. So if the hole is not big enough, you can just savage it and just rip it apart. Pass it through here again. Pass the ribbon through. So, 
ribbon is an interesting thing. So you have a little detail along the neckline instead of just a regular neckline. True. Top. And I'm going to pass it true. So I choose a different color ribbon because I wanted to have a more of a detail thing. You can actually pick the same color if you like, or you can choose this different color, whatever you like, it's up to you. Pass it true. All the way. And we're gonna pass this back. And then pass through the bottom piece. And then we got. Are you ready? We tie the front together. So, I think that's a very nice little bolero dress, don't you think? We didn't do the other sleeve. So let's do that quickly. We're gonna staple it from the outside. one all right so I'm just gonna finish this and I would unveil the wine what we drink it So there you go, I'm almost done. And then staple the sizing together. There you go. So we have a little cute bolero top. It's kind of sporty and romantic at the same time. So you can just do this with any. So if you want, we can also do a layer ring on the bottom. But before I see if I actually want to do more work on it, I'm going to tell you what the wine it tastes like. All right, so let's unveil the, well, the wine. So this wine is from Italy. It's an Archie. It's Pinot Riccio. The Pinot Riccio initially tastes a little bit more better than this, but uh, I find it a little bit too dry for my taste. You see it? Yeah. Well, we need to make more drink. <coughs> All right. So it's a P 
Pino Richie, only from Archie. Um, the actual price is nine dollar. Um, Italy white, uh, sugar contents, two gram. So it's quite dry, as I told you. Um, pale straw color. It's very pale. Floral. Definitely, it, yeah, I, I taste the citrus and the green apple aroma in here. Mm. Yeah, so definitely the green apple and uh, citrus aroma in there. Hey, David. And it's very it dry, light body, crisp citrus finish. Yeah, so I guess it would be good for an early summer night some afternoon and you want something light it actually would uh, work well with that uh, the price subject to change uh, price include container fee blah 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 so there you go so what do you think of the bolero top and the wine uh, for me I like a little bit more sugar uh, at least a five or this eight but this is a two so the dry wine so if you don't like sugar, so this may be actually work. Um, it light, it's citrusy, uh, it's fresh. Um, it's not a wine for winter, I would say. It's more of a summer wine because you have some wine that you would taste in the winter. But this, um, it's very light and it doesn't have that grabbing down, uh, ground your butt taste into it. So um, it's more citrusy, uh, apple is definitely in there. Yep, so I think it's a good, it's a good, very good, um, well, mind you, this is what, my third or fourth, I think this is my third glass, so, but then after your third glass, it, everything tastes pretty okay. So what do you think? So this is the Bolero, and let me see if I put it on and how would it look. So you have a top here, a tie neck, the color stand out, and it have an interesting detail in the back. So the color doesn't go together, but they actually open up. And it have a sporty romantic style to it, which is kind of cute. And it's a little bit tighter on the wrap because I think the Valero, especially this type of thing, is actually Oh, excuse me. It would uh, look nice in that form. And then you just tied it up into a little cute ribbon in the front. And ta -da. so I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you very much for watching the show. And if you'd like to watch the uh, last episode, it's on my website. The link is in the uh, video file so you might want to click on that and you can also click on this video and then save it and then you can watch it later and I also have a time-lapse version of the last video uh, posted as, as well on uh, Facebook um, already so go ahead and check that and if you can like my Instagram it Adam underscore Wang Q Q A N G.